So welcome to Church Thomas Road. We are glad to see you. Come on, let's stand together. Let's worship the Lord. Before we start, could you just give a big Thomas Road welcome to New Song, everybody? All right, sing with me. Here we go. So blessed be your name in a land that is plentiful. Where the streams of abundance flow, blessed be your name. Come on. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place. Though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. Yeah. Every passing for our arms, turn back to the when the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, sing, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the name, blessed be the name. The road marked with suffering, though this pain in the offering, blessed be your name. you're glad that God's faithfulness is consistent, that underneath us are his everlasting arms, and that he goes before us. Amen. Well, I count on one thing, that the same God will never fail, will not fail me. 
now You won't fail me now In the waiting and The same God who's never late Is working all things out He's working all things out yeah. So yes, I will lift you high lift you high in the lowest of valleys. Maybe you've come through a valley this week. Maybe you've had a rough time this week. Or maybe you've had a good one. Regardless, we're at the front end of another one. The day is young yet still. And we have the opportunity to worship Him, to fellowship with Him, to just bask in the glory of His grace, in the freedom of His forgiveness, in the wonder of His mercy. So let's just bow our heads together and pray. Father, we love you. We are so blessed and honored to be in your presence. Lord, to just enjoy who you are. Lord, to just be in the company of others who believe as we do. And Lord, to just open your word and to hear what you have to say to us today. So open our hearts and our minds and our ears today, Lord, to your power, to your wisdom to your strength so that when we leave here Lord we're not the same God we don't want to just have another worship service we, we want to hear from you we want to be blessed by you and Lord, Lord we want to bless you with our worship with our praise with an offering from our lips to your heart proclaiming Lord how good you are how wonderful you are how gracious you are. 
how loving you are for the freedom, Lord, that you've given us. Lord, for the life that you provide for us. You are truly wonderful, Lord. You are merciful. You are kind. You are great. And you are worthy of our praise. To you be all the glory, Lord Jesus. Would you sing this with us?
Indeed, we worship a great God who's still doing great things. Uh, good morning, Thomas Road. My name is Paul Maynard. I'm the high school pastor here at Thomas Road, and uh, we're excited this morning um, that we get to baptize uh, three, the mom and two sons, who are coming to, to uh, enter the baptismal waters this morning. Before we do that, let's, join, let's go to the Lord in prayer. God, we thank you uh, that you are still moving, that you are still doing great and amazing things. God, we thank you for this church family that continues um, to, to be able to meet and continues to, to join in worshiping you. And God, I thank you for, for those that came this morning to be, to be baptized. God, we're reminded that baptism does not save us, but God, it is a public declaration of our faith and that we can say we have trusted you as our Savior, and we are proud of that, and we wanted to, to declare that to this church family this morning. And so, God, we give you this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. First, we have Shara coming. Uh, Shara uh, said she was baptized. Hang on just one second. Well, you were baptized as, a, as an infant, yes. um, but just later on trusted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior um, through, through some journeys and, and some, some trials there. But Shara, today, have you trusted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. Because you've done that, it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried together with Christ, raised to walk a new life with Him. And we've got Ian. You okay? You okay? You okay? I'm a little nervous. It's okay. You're doing great. Ian, come face me for me, all right? Ian is in seventh grade. Um, we got to talk in the back just a few minutes ago, and he just said he's, um, there was a moment in his life just a couple years ago where he um, decided to trust Jesus as a Savior. He said he wanted to spend eternity in heaven with Jesus. Ian, have you, been in, have you, have you done that? Have you trusted Jesus as your Savior? Yes. Awesome. Because you've done that? It's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried together with Christ, raised to walk a new life with Him. Awesome. And last, we've got another brother. You're doing great, buddy. We've got Walt. You're good, man. Walt's in the eighth grade. Um, similar uh, experience as his brother, and he was actually with the sixth grade teacher, um, a Bible teacher. They got to lead him to the Lord a couple years ago. Walt, have you trusted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. Because you've done that, it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried together with Christ, raised to walk a new life with Him. Awesome. awesome. It's been done as the Lord's commanded. Come on, church, can we celebrate life change happening? So awesome. So awesome. Welcome to Thomas Road. Whether you're joining us for the first time or you've been coming for many years or you're joining us online, we are so glad that you are here. My name is Quincy Thompson. I get the honor and pri privilege as serving as our young adults pastor here at Thomas Road Baptist Church. Um, if you are new, if this is your first time or you're looking to get connected, please do us a favor and scan that QR code in front of you, then that seat back in front of you. It's really simple. What that'll do is that'll take you to our Connect card. And we want to get your information and know how we can be praying for you, how we can serve you, but also tell you about some really exciting things happening in the life of our church, like Serve Sunday. If you were here with us last Sunday, we had Main Street, which is our main lobby, packed with all, the all of the different serving opportunities and serving areas in our church. And this Sunday, we are doing that exact same thing. So if you are here, uh, please feel free, stop out on our main lobby and check out all of the main uh, or all of the serving opportunities that we have. Remember, God wants to use you to make an impact through people's lives. And he also wants to use serving as a way to impact your life. And so be sure to stop out on Main Street, get some information from our team about how you can get involved in serving here in the life of our church. Uh, last week we had an amazing 
kickoff for our young adult ministry, our college students, our young professionals. We had such a great time welcoming them in our ELC lot, which is to my right, your left, outside these doors. We had all sorts of food trucks out there. Our team was out there to greet them. And in fact, it went so well that we decided to do the exact same thing again this week. And so students, young professionals, uh, after this service and after each service this Sunday, please feel free to join us outside. Uh, to my right, your left, we have pizza, we have Kona ice, we have Krispy Kreme donuts. And we just want to say thank you for being at Thomas Road, but also get you connected to the life of our church. In fact, if you're a student or if you're a young professional, do me a favor, get out your phone and text the word TRYA, T-R-Y-A, to 434-201-7800. What that does is that puts you in touch with our team. We have all sorts of uh, opportunities we want to push out to you, like our life groups that will be kicking up here soon, and also our tria nights. Uh, we, have, we gather together every single month for a worship night in this room. And it's just a chance for every young adult, every college student, every young professional to gather together to lift up high the name of Jesus. It happens every month. We originally had scheduled for the first one to happen on September 3rd, uh, but we are pushing that back, and so it's going to happen on September 19th. We want you to join us for that, students and young professionals. Uh, for you hunters and anglers out there and outdoor enthusiasts, uh, we have something really special coming up here at Thomas Road. We do it every single year. It is called Beast Feast. And it is happening on September 11th. It'll be happening all throughout the afternoon. All sorts of speakers, uh, vendors, and information about uh, for hunting, fishing, all of that stuff. You're not going to want to miss it. But we want you to pre-register. And so the way you, that you pre-register is you visit www.beastfeast.net. That'll get you pre-registered and get ready to go to that incredible event. Uh, can we thank New Song for being here this morning? What an incredible time of worship. Incredible. But uh, it doesn't end with this morning. In fact, they're going to be here tonight. And so Pastor Charles is going to tell us more about the concert tonight that you can all be a part of. Thanks, Quincy. Looking forward to that Beast Feast, too. It's the first time I ever tried alligator was at the Beast Feast. <laughs> oh, man. So we are so uh, just looking forward to tonight. New song, believe it or not, has been around since 1981. Started with four guys. It started with uh, uh, a guy named Eddie Middleton, who just passed away this last week. Um, a guy named Bobby Apon, whose students still go to this uh, school at Liberty. And then Eddie Carswell, who's standing right behind me. And Billy Goodwin, who's back there in the hat. 1981, started as a quartet and then uh, expanded to a band type of situation in 1994 when Russ Lee and Leonard Alstrom and myself joined the group. And we had this new artist named Michael O'Brien opening for us on the road. <laughs> and uh, so over the course of many years, we've all just been a part of this great ministry. And all oh, the songs are just so many to list. And tonight at 6 o'clock, we're going to just give you a, a, a whole bunch of them. Uh, rise, my love. People, get ready. My heart is already there. All those great songs that have been through the years that uh, Eddie Carswell and Leonard and Russ have, and Michael have written and um, along with others. And it's just going to be a fun, fun night. We're not going to do every big song they ever recorded because we'd be here a, a long time. But uh, if you come at 6 o'clock, I promise it won't be too long and it certainly won't be boring. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we're going to worship the Lord and just enjoy enjoy some great history for new song. And by the way, as of right now, this is the only concert in the reunion tour of the 40th anniversary of new song. So if you come tonight, you will be present for the entire tour. So that's exciting. And so we're really looking forward to it. Don't forget, uh, did you, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> Pastor Jonathan's on the front row going, don't forget the offering. <laughs> that's important. It's very important. Uh, because yeah, we need to give. And, uh, and so the offering, uh, don't forget to give as you uh, make your way out today in the offering as always. And of course, you can give online and you can also mail in your uh, checks if you need to do that. But make sure that you give in the offering as we leave today. All right, let's go to the Lord and then uh, we're just going to stand together and worship the Lord again. Father, we love you and we just thank you for the opportunity we have today to be a part of this great church to live in this wonderful community of Lynchburg and to just enjoy who you are. We are so blessed to even be in the room, Lord. 
to breathe your air, to be in your presence, and to celebrate who you are. Lord, it is all about you. So we focus our mind's attention, our heart's affection, all that we have and all that we are. And we lay it at your feet this morning, Lord, and worship you. When you hear that statement in that song that you give hope and you restore, you think about those words for a moment because everyone in this room has been at a point in your life where you need hope and you need to be restored. And so right now with that in mind and with that heart, with that, that passion that God has for us to see that hope in the midst of our hopelessness, there are some people that in our midst who need hope, who need prayer. And so we want to be praying for people like Dottie Cottle and Joyce Gaddy and Shalene Green and Vicki Hudson and Linda Kidd. We want to pray for Ricky King and Ronald Moorfield and Abby Owens, Stanley Rastawicki and Dean Smith and Talmadge Mayberry. We want to be praying for Vernon and Beth Whaley and Tony Witt and Tiffany Tomlin. And we want to pray for Brian Dogen. And then we want to pray for the families of Jimmy Alexander, who passed away this past week, and, and for Joe Petrela, who passed away, and for the family of uh, Michelle Christian, who passed away. And then we want to pray for some families that we don't know, of 13 service members who lost their lives just a few days ago in the tragedy in Afghanistan, hundreds of others who lost their lives there. We want to pray for the people today still in Haiti that are waiting for hope in the midst of all that they've been through, the people that right now, as we're gathered here in this room, that are down in the Gulf Coast in Louisiana, and they're facing a Category 4 hurricane that is coming into that place today, and the anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. You can imagine the fear that must be going through their minds. Listen, that song, You Give Hope. Today, you might be in this place, and maybe you've come here with some need, with some heartache or heartbreak, some challenge that goes beyond anything that you physically and humanly can overcome. Here's what I want you to know. God is the one that will show up in the midst of your trial, and that He will bring hope, and He will restore. So let's pray together. Father, today, we thank You. God, there are a lot of people 
a lot of people here and a lot of people all around the world that need hope. People who are sick, people who've lost loved ones, people who are going through great tragedies. We've seen the unrest that's taking place in our world. We see the, the, the challenges through weather, through hurricane and, and tropical storms and earthquakes. And God, in the midst of all of those situations, God, we know you're still on your throne. And so, God, we pray that you would bring hope and that you would restore. God, for those we've mentioned and those in this room and those who are watching that maybe we didn't mention their name, but still, the need is great. God, we pray that you would show up and that you would do in their lives what they desperately need you to do, what only you can do. Bring healing. Bring restoration. Bring provision. God, do a miraculous work in their lives and in their journeys. And God, for that, we will give you the praise. We will give you all the glory. Thank you, God, that you give hope. Thank you, God, that you restore. God, we thank you for how great you truly are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. seated. Back on a son, despising 
Oh. 